In a previous video, we configured these interfaces between the switches as trunk ports and configured the links to the routers and switches as access ports. This port, as an example, is in VLAN 10. This port is in VLAN 20. This port is in VLAN 1. This port is in VLAN 1. And these core ports are trunk ports permitting all VLANs. Now, this is a layer two infrastructure running between our switches. In a layer two network, when you have redundant links as we do here, you need to run spanning tree to prevent loops in your topology. Spanning tree is enabled by default on Cisco switches. So when I type show run pipe include span, you'll notice that the switch is configured to run rapid PBST plus and is using extended system IDs. So when I use the command show spanning tree VLAN 1 as an example, you can see the output for VLAN 1. The default priority for this switch is 32768 in decimal. That's 8000 in hexadecimal. So the switch is using the default spanning tree priority, but because it's using extended system IDs, and this is VLAN 1, the priority of the switch is 32769. In other words, 32768 plus the VLAN number. We could see that as an example for VLAN 10. Priority is 32768 plus extended system ID. So the priority of the switch is 32778. For VLAN 20, we can see that the priority is 32788. So looking at VLAN 10 as an example, switch has this priority. The root of the spanning tree also has that priority. The spanning tree that we're using is rapid PVST. This is the address of the root bridge. This is our local address or local MAC address. So the bridge ID is this number plus this number, but the local switch is not the root bridge. Another switch is the root bridge and the port used to get to the root bridge is port 00. So from switch one's point of view, the root bridge is somewhere here. So we could have a look as an example at switch two to see if that switch is the root. So on switch two, show spanning tree VLAN 10 shows us that this switch is the root bridge. In other words, this bridge is the root. Switch two is the spanning tree root for VLAN 10. Notice it doesn't show a path cost to get to the root. It shows us that the switch is the root. And we can also see that by looking at the address. Notice the MAC address of the root is the same as the MAC address of the local bridge or local switch. All interfaces on this switch are designated ports and all ports are forwarding. Whereas if we look at switch one once again, the switch has a root port. The root port is forwarding and the switch's root port is gigabit to zero zero. We can see that once again by looking at the output here. But hopefully at this point, you can see a problem in this topology. This core switch is blocking on all ports except gigabit 00. So if we draw this topology and mark which ports are forwarding and blocking, we'll be able to see what's actually happening in the network. Looking at the topology as follows, it looks like you have a lot of redundancy and traffic from this host as an example may take an optimal path to get to a destination. But that may not actually be true because of the ports that spanning tree are blocking by default. So let's have a look at what's going on in this topology.